Morning all. Now, as you may know, I'm a huge fan of Arduino. So when a new Arduino came along, the Arduino Yun, I was kind of powerless to resist. And I've had to buy one at the enormous price of £55. So in this video, I'm going to uh, set this thing up. The setup process is quite complex because uh, I want to do this over Wi-Fi. And then I'm going to run a couple of sketches and see if I can see what the big deal is with the Arduino Yun and whether this high price tag is really justified. So here's my setup. The Yun is not connected to anything other than this mobile power bank just to provide it with um, 5 volts. Everything in terms of connectivity to the PC will be done over Wi-Fi. Now in order to download sketches to the Yun, it has to be logged in or connected to your Wi-Fi network. But of course, fresh out of the box, it doesn't know how to do that because it doesn't know which network to connect to and it doesn't know the Wi-Fi password. So there's an initial setup that you have to go through in order to put those details into the Yun so that it can connect to your Wi-Fi network. So the Yun's initial state, uh, fresh out of the box is that it has its own local area network, its own web server and its own Wi-Fi hotspot and you can connect to that hotspot with a wireless device. Now my PC um, has wireless disabled because it was never very reliable and I'm using gigabit ethernet so I can't use my PC to connect to this thing so I'm going to use my Nexus 7 tablet. Now being a wireless device the tablet's actually ideal for this initial setup because Wi-Fi is very easily um, set up. So I'm just going to go into settings and Wi-Fi and you can see all of the local Wi-Fi networks including my own network which is Git HQ and the Arduino's hotspot and it's called Arduino Yun and that number is the MAC address of the Arduino's own Wi-Fi module. Now you can see that the Arduino Yun Wi-Fi network is unsecured, so it's a nice easy one to connect to. So let's press Arduino Yun, and it's saying saved, obtaining IP address, and connected. So we are now connected to the Arduino's Wi-Fi hotspot. Now all the instructions for doing this initial setup are on the Arduino website. You simply go to learning, getting started, and then down here there's a list of Arduinos and there's the Arduino Yun and this is the getting started guide. Now in the guide under the uh, section Linux it says once you've obtained an IP address open a web browser and enter HTTP Arduino local or 192.168.240.1. Well, Arduino Local doesn't work. Um, and I did a bit of searching around on the internet and lots of people are having this problem. It, it might work on a Macintosh because of something called Bonjour, but it doesn't work on the tablet. So I'm just going to use the IP address 192.168.240.1. So on the tablet, I'm going to open the Chrome browser, get a new tab, and then start typing in that address. Uh, one now because I've done this before it's got that stored so that's the address let's go on that and we're now logged in to the web server on the Arduino Yun now this is a direct connection the tablet is talking directly to the Wi-Fi access point on the Yun it's not going through my Wi-Fi network now there's a password here it's simply Arduino I'm going to type that into the password field Arduino and we are logged in and we can now configure the device. There's a little bit of information here on the two uh, networks for the Yun, the Wi-Fi network and the wired Ethernet. You can put a, an Ethernet cable in that wired Ethernet socket but I wanted to do everything over wireless so let's hit configure and now I'm in and I need to set up or it's telling me to set up a few basic things. 
It's telling me to name the Arduino. Well, I'm going to leave it called Arduino. It's telling me to put in a password and confirm that password. Well, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to leave the existing password, which is Arduino. It's telling me to put in a time zone. So I'm going to do that. But this is ridiculous because I now have to scroll up through hundreds of these uh, locations to get to Europe, London. So I'm going to do that now. So there's Europe, London. Let's select that. OK, so that's gone in as my time zone. Now I need to tell it which Wi-Fi network to connect to. Well, I want to connect to mine, which is called Git HQ. Now I've actually got two access points on my network, so I'll just select one of those, the top one. So it's now going to try to connect to Git HQ, and it needs my Wi-Fi password. So I'm going to type that in off camera, of course. So there's my Wi-Fi network name, Git HQ. The password's in there. It's using WPA2 security. And now I'm just going to say configure and restart. Now what happens now is that the Yun is actually rebooting. That's probably not obvious, but there's a progress bar there. Now the wireless icon on my tablet has disappeared because the Yun's uh, network has vanished. And now it's reappeared because the tablet automatically tries to find a network. It's now saying I'm offline. But um, the tablet will now be connected back to Git HQ because the Arduino Yun Wi-Fi hotspot no longer exists. So that's pretty much all I need the tablet for. Now I can, uh, the, the Arduino Yun has logged itself into my home network via Wi-Fi because it has the Wi-Fi password in there. So I can do everything else now from my PC. So the next thing to do is to open up the Arduino IDE. Now you have to install a completely new version of the IDE. This is version 1.5.6 R2. And when I tried to install this, it said it has to uninstall my previous version, which was 1.0.5. So I had to accept that, remove the old Arduino, put this new one on. And the reason you need this new one is because uh, the old version doesn't know about the Arduino Yun. So if I come down to board, there is the Arduino Yun listed. Now, the if I come down to port, it can see the Arduino at an IP address on my uh, home network. Now, my IP address ranges are 192.168.1, and uh, the Arduino has been given the IP address 1.27. And it's been given that by my DHCP server, which is actually in my router there, my uh, Draytech router. So that's what's given the Yun the IP address 1.127. Now, I've opened the Blink example sketch, which does the uh, high for one second, low for one second on the LED. But I've already got that sketch loaded in. You can see the red LED is switching on for a second and switching off for a second. So in order to show that uh, a sketch is actually being transferred via Wi-Fi to this Arduino, I'm just going to change those delay times. So I've changed the delay times to 200 milliseconds each, so the LED should blink a bit faster. And now I'm going to upload the sketch. And now you'll see it says compiling sketch. And down here there's a progress bar. Now, up pops a security box which says you need to type the board password to upload a new sketch. And that's because, because the board is on Wi-Fi, anyone could get to this Arduino. So there's an extra layer of security. Now, the password for this board, I didn't change it from the factory setting, so it's still Arduino. I'll type that in. So there it is, Arduino, and I hit upload, and it now says uploading. Now there's nothing to see on the Arduino. There are no flashing lights. I'll just uh, show that. The blinking LED has stopped, so that must mean that um, we're in communication. And in fact, now you can see that we've got the much more rapid blink. So it has taken in the new sketch with the shorter delay times. So we have successfully uploaded a sketch to the Arduino over Wi-Fi. There are no connecting wires from my PC over the network. Now, this is all well and good. We've successfully uploaded a sketch to the Arduino 
with no wires, great. But £55 just to do that? I mean, there must be more to this Arduino Yun than just the ability to upload sketches without wires. And of course, there is. There's a lot more to this thing.